If you're looking for your vampire fix, this is definitely going to be the video for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles from the channel Books on Stereo, and I'm here to do a review of Black Sunshine by Karina Hall or Halle. Not quite sure how you pronounce the author's last name, and I believe this is her first foray into paranormal romances. Basically, get a lot of vampire smut in this one, which is always welcome. So in this book, I will put the cover up here. I'll put a little synopsis if you want to read the full synopsis. But I'm just going to give you a little bit of abbreviated version of the setup for this book. So we basically follow our main heroine. She's 21. She is in college. She's doing great. And then she starts feeling as someone is watching her. And then she gets kidnapped by a mysterious vampire bounty hunter. And it's a romance between her and the vampire bounty hunter. And y'all, let's go over into my overall thoughts about this book. So I actually got an arc of this book, which I'm super excited about because I got to read it before everyone else got to read it. So I'm like, I think I'm like really, really cool right now. And there will also be a live show on Lacey, Lacey Book Lover's channel, I believe on April 8th. I can't remember, but I'll leave all the details for that down below in the description box with the author herself. And so let's break down the book and its components. So we're going to talk about writing, character, and plot. And then we're going to give you, and then I'm going to give you an overall thought about the book. And then we're going to end with a star rating. And then if I recommend it to you guys. So you guys know I, I usually don't read books physically with my eyes. I'm usually always an audiobook listener. But the reading experience for this one was actually really, really enjoyable. The writing was really, really immersive. It kind of drew you into the main characters, the main heroine's characters, like headspace. And you experienced the book primarily through her eyes. And man, the writing just flows and flows and flows. It's so incredibly readable. But that kind of brings me to a little bit one of my problems about this book. The pacing is a little bit uneven. After you get probably around chapter 8, 8 to 10, pacing kind of like takes... The pacing kind of becomes, what I'm trying to say is it becomes quite uneven in parts because as we kind of like had like a really suspenseful opening and we're seeing the main heroine get kidnapped and her kind of like adjusting to her new surroundings, you also get a lot of info dumping in the middle part of the book, which definitely slows down the pacing of this book and the writing becomes a little bit more clunky, a little bit more dense because we're trying to convey all this information to our main character who is new to this world. And then that kind of leads me into my next slot is that I felt like, I don't know if this is gonna be a true standalone or there will be spin-off books within this world because it almost reads like a beginning of a series but also reads as a standalone as well. It's a really kind of weird experience. Um, for in terms of the plot, it really doesn't do that much in like the 300 pages. It kind of just goes from this point to this point and stuff happens along the way, but it's not really all that interesting, at least to me, because so much of that middle to, middle to end portion is a lot of info dumping. And I didn't think we get a really clear picture of who the big bad is in this world. I mean, we do get a little bit of like a tease of it, but I don't know, like I need to know like if this was like intended to be a standalone or a beginning of a series because that will kind of change how I judge the plot. So let's move on to the characters. So I felt like the characters overall were really great. I would definitely say the secondary characters really kind of got the short end of the stick, especially the human characters in this book. They really, 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 really got the short end of the stick. I mean, like, I was like, dang, Karina, like, you did that to that character? That's kind of dirty. But overall, I like the characters, and I would like to see more Avengers with these characters. And yes, if you want to know, the smut is really good in this one as well. So overall, I felt like this was a really great foray into the paranormal world for this author. And it was a really interesting and unique take that I haven't quite seen before done in other paranormal whatever. In the paranormal space is what I'm trying to say. It, it, was, it managed to be unique which I have to give a brownie points for. And even despite some of his missteps, I still ended up giving it a four out of five stars. And I would really recommend it to you guys. I will say, trigger warnings, if you're very uncomfortable with like blood play or any type of like blood being involved in like some smut scenes, like this will probably not be the book for you. It's not like dark romance, but definitely I believe the author includes those trigger and content warnings in the beginning of the book. Just so if that is like a hard no-no for you, then definitely pass on this book. But if you are looking for some like dark, steamy vampire goodness, this is definitely going to be the book for you. All right, let me know down in the comment section down below if you're going to be picking up this book or if you've already read this book. I want to know your thoughts on this book as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys with a brand new video. Peace.